very important theorem named as Lévy's theorem, and it states that a bounded entire function must be constant. Now, what do you mean by an entire function? The entire function is a complex valued function which is analytic on the whole complex plane, right? Okay. Let's start with the proof. Let fz be an entire function. Now, as it is given to us that it is a bounded entire function, so taking let with mod of fz to be less than equal to let's say m for all z, right? As it is a bounded entire function, so I have taken the mod. Now we have to prove that this function is constant. Then what is required to prove that its first derivative is zero for all the values of z, right? So let's take any complex number let's say z naught be any complex number and let's construct the circle mod of z minus z naught to be equal to r so this is the circle that is centered at z naught having the radius r right then by Koch's integral formula we know that the first derivative of the function at this z naught right at this z naught is equal to 1 over 2 pi iota integral over c f of z divided by z minus z naught the power yes to dz. Why I have taken this first derivative at z equal to z naught because I need to prove that first derivative of the function is 0. For that I have taken the first derivative of the function at z equal to z naught. And I applied the Koch's integral formula over here, right? This I need. Now let's take mod on both the sides. So this mod is further less than equal to yes. Uh, the mod of iota is 1, we all know that. So this is 1 over 2 pi integral over c. And this mod is further less than equal to yes. Mod of fz divided by mod of z minus z naught power 2 and mod of dz. This is the property for the mod I have used and again I know that mod of fz is less than equal to m. This we have supposed right and z minus z naught is equal to r. Fine. So this is further because mod of fz is less than equal to m so the sign becomes again less than equal to 1 over 2 pi integral over c m right divided by this mod is r so this is r square mod of dz let's take all these constants outside so this is m divided by 2 pi r square integral over c of dz mod dz because this integral is over the circle and we have to integrate mod of dz that is nothing but the circumference which is 2 pi r because the circle is having the radius r. So this is further equal to m divided by 2 pi r square and this integral is 2 pi r. So this 2 pi 2 pi cancelled out and this also 1 r will go and we get m divided by r. Right. So we get mod of f dash z naught is less than equal to m over r. Right. So thus mod of f dash z naught is less than equal to m divided by r. Now because this function is an entire function that means it is analytic on the whole complex plane. So I can take my radius to be as large as I can take. So letting r tends to infinity over here we get mod of f dash z naught is less than equal to zero because fz is an entire function. So this implies mod of f dash z naught is equal to 0 which further implies that f dash z naught is equal to 0 but z naught was arbitrary z naught can be any point right so this result is true for all z so therefore f dash z naught is equal to 0 for all z belonging to the complex number and when the derivative becomes 0 when the function is constant hence fz is constant for all z belonging to the set of complex numbers. Alright, thank you. Stay blessed.